Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Eats. It's Ernestine from Ernestine. And Estina from Estina Time. And Ernie and I are both college students and we're, we often eat out, but we also want to find things to make when we're on a budget. We're trying to be bougie on a budget, so Sam's going to teach us this recipe for a Thai inspired ramen. All right, well, let's stop talking and let's get cooking. <laughs> All right, guys, here's an ingredient lineup. First off, we're mincing some garlic, some fresh green onions, and over here, I'm scraping the ginger skin with a spoon. It's a little hack to get the most out of your ginger. And later, when I'm all done with this step, I will be mincing all the ginger. Here's a look of all the fresh chopped ingredients. Now we're just gonna follow the ramen package instruction. Here I am placing the ramen into hot boiling water. Today I'm using coca, which is a non-fried ramen noodles in the curry flavor. Be careful when cutting the seasoning packets. If you're gonna eat the ramen later, drain and shock the noodles in cold water for now. For me, I'll just place it in this bowl. In a separate pot, let's make our broth by sauteing our chopped ingredients in about three tablespoons of cooking oil. This is the foundation of a fragrant broth. If you need to turn down the heat, please do so. All right, you guys, it's time to add the mushroom. Next, add the seasoning powder. Make sure we're mixing very well into the pot, getting all the bits and pieces. That is where we're gonna get most of our flavor from. Mm. Now let's add the coconut milk. You guys, this is my favorite part because the mixture is just so beautiful. The broth turns into this really turmeric gold color. Make sure you scrape every bit and pieces. This is where the flavor is just forming itself. Next, add the water. If you like, you can add a few dabs of fish sauce. This gives it that unami flavor. Now squeeze in the lime. Now I know it's a Thai inspired ramen, but you can literally add anything. In our case, we have a colorful fish cakes and Korean rice cakes. Aren't they so gorgeous? The pink color is just so overwhelmingly cute. Go ahead and mix it up. Add the noodles right back into the pot. Make sure you're just getting it incorporated nice into the broth as it soaks up that yummy flavor. Now I made a triple fried egg to go with our family style Thai inspired hot pot. Garnish it up. All right, ladies, so I have the finished product over here, as you can see. Ow! I'm so excited. So I have two little bowls for you guys to try, so why don't you guys give it a try? Okay! <laughs> We're ready! Oh yeah. Really what do y'all think? Mm. Ooh, it's really good. It tastes like you would get it at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really creamy too. And I want to add you guys, it's only $10 to make this big pot of ramen that is for like ten, five people, I would say, five people. So anyways, if you guys like the recipe, add us on Instagram. And um, also be on the lookout for more food videos. Bye! Bye! <laughs>